Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nangisa Esther Ray and I'm back with another video. Today I wanted to speak on how to identify when it's man-made weather and when it's God's weather. So a lot of people in the new age practices and in um, you know, the scientists and everything like that, they don't believe in God anymore. So they believe that they're gods and they also believe that man is making weather and that is true sometimes when they have the different heart machines and a lot with the chemtrails and different things and the chemicals that are sprayed across the um, the world and across the skies and things like that to force rain or the force uh, snow or to force any type of climate change that to go on and happen. However, there's also a time when it's just simply God's wrath because he also is in control of everything. He's creator of all things. So, of course, there's going to be disasters and natural disasters and things that's going on in the world that um, we don't have any answers for. So we like to blame it on climate change or we like to blame it on global warming or blame it on the chemtrails and harp and all types of man-made uh, machinery that causes these things to happen. However, um, a lot of the things that we going on is God's judgment, is God's wrath because of the different warnings, because of the disobedience, and because of all the wickedness and evilness that has been going on in the world, especially in certain cities and places that have been warned and have been shown the error of their ways and refused to turn to God. So, um, what we really don't know that sometimes these man-made machines are not the only thing that are forcing different types of weather on us. You would know when it's man-made or when it's scientifically made or um, uh, made by all types of machinery with star machines or chemtrails and different things like that if it looks unnatural and if it's forced. Like I had a, an example when I was outside and the sun was clearly out and I was just, you know, enjoying the day, but then it started raining. So it was like the sun, clearest day, not a cloud in sight, but it started raining. And so that, and then with the chemtrails and every time, you know, the sun is in the sky and everything is okay, then you see fake clouds just popping up out of nowhere just to cover the sun. So they have this type of equipment and a lot of it was from um, the fallen angels gave them this knowledge um, on how to manipulate weather and how to manipulate certain elements and things like that and that's what witchcraft is manipulating elements so um, I had a dream to where people was like you know I don't believe in God and God was like um, I said well I do I believe in the creator God and he was telling me that we are like it's like in the days of Noah is like now we've become to the break of society just like back in the days of Noah when things have been grown rapid in the world evilness has taken over darkness has overpowered the light there's things going on with witchcraft and with um, uh, sexual things going on you know the predators out here opposite sex um, getting into relationships during sexual relations just everything with the flesh everything with greed and vanity selfishness money party drugs alcohol everything that was just not pleasant in god's eye and there were so many warnings you know to come back to god to get into the spirit not into the flesh but you know they don't want to listen so then that's when the flood was came and i made a couple prophetic words way back when I was talking about God's wrath and I was saying how a lot of the disasters and things was going to be his his wrath and it was going to be coming in forms of earthquakes there was a big earthquake in Arizona so the, the whole ground split open and sometimes these earthquake certain spirits are coming out of the earth certain demons are coming out of from the inside of the earth because we made it an atmosphere the people in the industry and the people um, these celebrities and rappers and singers and those who are working who, who are possessed are making it an atmosphere to where evil can roam and especially us sometimes when we open ourselves up to these um, these societies and these communities and we open ourselves up as portals to let that evil spirits and energy roam in this earth and it makes it like it makes it seem like when they say demon time and I was like why are they saying demon time all these celebrities and I'm like, that doesn't even make sense because this whole time they've been low-key running stuff in the background, you know, causing all types of havoc on the earth, 
destructions and just making it just a bad place to live because it's making it seem like if I can't have the world, like the devil wants to say, if I can't have the world, no one can have it. So I'm going to make it totally upside down, destroy completely so it can be an inhabited or a, 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 a area where I will be naturally be able to rule. Like I have to rule out of chaos. And a lot of those things, that we've been doing and practicing these certain practices which we think is our spirituality those are the chaoses the different spirits and and demonic energies that needs to be on earth for these um fallen angels to reside back in here just like the fallen angels had um made the giants and they had made certain creatures and gene splicing and different things like that so that this can go totally against God's creation and mock God right in his face. And so God had to send the flood. So I had said before, God said he wasn't going to flood the earth. Not completely how he did in the days of Noah. However, there were going to be certain floods. Is how you can see his wrath, certain hurricanes and um, tornadoes, earthquakes. The tornado, um, there was a tornado and also a flood in New York and Louisiana and Haiti got hit with that earthquake in the hurricane I believe um, and then it also was on the Gulf of Mexico so I had wrote down notes um, breaking down the names of these um, natural disasters and also knowing that um, a couple dreams that I had that it was revealed to me so I also was watching a couple videos on other people who had predicted the floods happening in New York way before it happened and um, other people who were basically saying how um, hurricane is uh, it's hurricane and because of the it all happens around the places where our ancestors were pushed off boats and things like that and I'm like okay we always try to break down these words and try to make them something that they're not um just because it sounds nice um a lot of the places not only it's not just you know saying that these are the ancestors doing that the spirit of the ancestors yes the spirit of our ancestors might be in that water mourning and still being haunted in that in the water because that's where they had um passed that however a lot of the places also are where um, God's chosen people were put into slavery and were also where we were condemned or oppressed at so a lot of those places are rising up there but we're forgetting of the cities that God has specifically spoken to those people and told them to stop doing certain practices or stop you know going against God and they continue to do that so um, somebody I, that's what I put under the post that I had seen I was saying um God is still in control and because it was like don't go to the churches um after this and I'm like um they was like because they are controlled by the powers that be and I was like um every church isn't controlled by the powers that be and first of all we need to stop giving them so much power because that's what they want we, we act like just because they have this small type of influence on the world on the weather on our media that there's no God and that they have all the power. We give them too much power that they give credit for and that's just us responding to them and giving them that power just helps them reign even more freely. And so um um I was like so the churches, you know, only the churches that sold out are the ones that working for the powers that be. And there's still some good churches out there and they're still you know god's not even wanting us to go to church we could be the church and he doesn't want religion he wants a relationship and even god revealed to me when there was a lot of storms and super um uh, floods going on by rains the church was going to be a refuge for the oppressed he even said that in one of his psalms a refuge for the oppressed in times of the need so that's what i said and it was like well, if God's still in charge, somebody replied to me and was like, well, is God still in charge? Tell him um, in control. Tell him to control this pandemic and COVID. And I, I'd be knowing what exactly what to say to snap back at them. Like, you got the right one today um, because I came ready for prayer. I said, I don't need it. Um, I don't need to have him to do anything, okay? I'm not in control of God. I don't need to be telling him what to do. I can simply put some prayers in and ask and continue, you know, to 
plead that he does something or that his will change, but his will be done. And he already is controlling the pandemic, the COVID and the weather. His wrath and judgment is here for the disobedience of his children, doing witchcraft and worshiping other gods. So the plagues of Egypt is among us right now. It's just like in the days of Noah, floods, fires, pestilence, and disease until we repent, surrender our gods, and turn to the Father for forgiveness and grace. This will continue. Jesus is a healer, and those who are supposed to be healed from the virus will be. I said, I and my family and million others have been healed in Jesus' name according to your faith, be it done to you. Okay, so, you know, that was a long little snapback with also truth to it. And um, Ida in Hebrew means work or labor. You see, we don't do the spiritual work that is needed in God's grace. And we, sh we would have to do heavy industrial work to get us out of this flood. Um, the flood of our sins of evilness and even physically speaking, there was so many cars just stuck in deep like six feet of water and cars that was just messed up so it's like the work we have to do a whole lot of work even in the subway water just filled up there was a lot of work that's going to have to be done industrial to get us back to get back to a comfortable and safe environment after this and people been saying the hurricanes only hit where low poverty black people live but we are re we're not realizing that the hurricanes are also hitting the most black pla the most places that have the most black magic being done and trickery is being done the most states that have turned away from god and so um this was a comment that i put under someone else's post who had predicted that um god gave her a dream a prophetic dream of the flood that was going to come in new york like almost a month ago and I had seen this, and I also have received a dream myself. So I said, I will, um, I pray for your healing and your family because she was from New York. Um, I'm sending support her way, and God's judgments and blessings are one and the same. New York now is having people not go through the stores without taking the vaccine. So I believe the flood is being sent so they can get cleansed and focus on more important things like God, family, and survival. I had a dream that many of God's children will be flying out and leaving New York before it hits. Haiti has yet to turn from their wicked ways of worshiping idols and ancestral gods. They are in my prayers as well. Also temporary suffering for eternal glory for nations will rise up against nations, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains matthew 24 and um sorry if i'm shaking i'm outside it just uh, it was raining here where i live and um i'm going to put at the end of the video i'm a little cold but i'm gonna put at the end of the video things you can do to try to cover yourself from god's wrath or try to cover yourself from different weather disasters because some of us chosen people we're in different states and places so that we can be that intercessor and that prayer warrior so that these disasters and, and things do not touch our land because some of us really don't even deserve these things so hurricane henry means powerful ruler god showing who is the big boss indeed videos before of the i've seen um videos before of the natural disasters being proof of the end times god even gave me dreams that these puppets for Hollywood are possessed rappers and singers are going to be putting on concerts trying to harvest as much de demonic energy and light from God's so children's souls to try and conjure up a really bad event to happen I was in New York in a hotel room and I got bewitched by their music these mainstream famous singers and I was under their control then God walked in the room and I got up and he told me, look outside the window. So I looked outside the window and it was New York, but there was so many cars that were stranded in the street and people all around. And he showed me that many will try to rush and fly out of the city to save themselves from the judgments and wrath, but others will be stuck in the flood. And they were just standing around in the middle of the street like cars and everything. 
and that literally happened i had literally just seen a couple videos where there was five to six feet of water in the streets cars floating on top of each other just floating around people stranded in on their roofs on the top of their houses needing to be rescued by boats to come and i was just like god is still in control um however the fact because he knows the plans of the enemy and sometimes he will use the enemy to get his point across i also found out not only has new york forced those vaccinations to go into shops and to sell certain things now they're passing a law that it's okay to abort babies with a heartbeat and they do a lot of human trafficking there and also trying to get the law passed where um you know pedophilia or you can have sexual relationships with a child that is not even of age and things like that so it's been a lot of wicked and evil things going on in the big cities and then i just wanted to leave with this one prayer because it says if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and i will heal their land in 2 chronicles 7 14 in the holy bible and i can really like say that is so true because every time there has been a a disaster that i've just been like okay it's getting kind of it's been raining and raining it's about to flood the first one i had told y'all how i was outside and it was the sun was out but then it started raining and i was going on my nature walk and i also it was a time for my three o'clock breakthrough prayer so i started praying and you know i was getting in the mood i was getting in the positive energy and i was singing to god and everything like that and then the rain had stopped and the sun came out it was like a rainbow and there was also like a uh, um light rain coming down so i was just like wow that's really nice and then another time i was out on my porch and it started raining really bad there was a lot of thunderstorms and a lot of lightning and things like that and my roof still needed to be getting fixed and i didn't want it to rain too bad because i didn't want it to flood my house so and also um other people were out they were trying to wash their cars and different things like that and it was a beautiful day and all of a sudden it was just like doo -doo 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 -doo. And it just like started raining really bad. So I came out here and I started walking around my house. I started saying Psalms 91, Psalms 23, and Psalms 27 for protection, value, uh, protection in God, value, favor, and also humbleness. And, you know, asking that, you know, that my city be shielded from any types of weather and natural disasters. Within 10 minutes, the rain was gone. And then just now i just got off work and it was raining really bad and my mom was driving and i get a little bit of anxiety because i had gotten a car accident before with the rain had the water picked up the car and hit the medium so i always get a little bit of anxiety so i just played in my earphones i started playing psalms 91 23 and 27 and the rain had stopped within an hour it started drizzling it wasn't too bad to where we could get to our destination but now it completely stopped and there's no rain outside. So when he says, um, my people, humble yourselves, call by my name, Jesus Christ, and also God, and just pray and ask for forgiveness of our sins. Repent for all types of things we have done and seek him. He will come and heal your land. It's not saying that we're going to forever be under all types of judgments and wrath and everything like that. There's still god's children god still loves us no matter if we have gone against them there's nothing too big or too small that can't be forgiven and can't be seen favor in his eyes and we have the power with our voices we have the power with our um of tongues to pray against these things i don't know if i said in the other video but i was basically saying how we're supposed to be here to be intercessors and pray against these things and be able to get our will to god and how we have to really like enforce that will by continuing different um prayers and different positive energies and just helping others and not only just seeking selfish things whenever we pray sometimes we're gonna have to say those prayers for the homeless and say those prayers for um the needy the sick whoever is in need we don't know how powerful our voices is we don't know how powerful 
God hears us, even if there's millions and thousands of people in the world who are praying, sometimes you have to continue and just, you know, have know that it's immediately when you pray, have that faith that it's going to be sent to the most high. So that's my video today, putting light to the darkness and balance to the light. Shalom.